Hey guys, today we're looking at Arch Linux. Actually really nice, it also uses Fosh. What we're going to be doing today with Arch Linux is we're going to be turning it into Black Arch. And what is Black Arch? Black Arch is a pen testing distro based on Arch Linux. I'm going to show you step by step how to turn your Arch Linux Pine Phone into a Black Arch pen testing Pine Phone. So let's get started. First step is optional. I'm going to set up the, an SSH server so that I can do all this for my computer. This is a lot easier for sharing as a video and it is very tough to hold a phone and type. So I'm going to be doing that first. That's optional. You can do everything from your phone screen and type it with your fingers if you like. Or you can hook up a Bluetooth keyboard. Whatever works for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enable the SSH server so we can use our computer to type all commands. So first thing we'll do is we'll open up our settings and when we go there we're going to go to sharing. Then what we're going to do is we're going to enable sharing and you can see right here it says remote login off. Well, we're going to turn that to on and you can see right here remote login enable that and then I need to type in my password and we have successfully enabled the remote login now we should be able to SSH right over to our Pine phone from our computer terminal and you can also use something like PuTTY if you're using a Windows or other operating system. So you can use either the IP address and you can use commands like IP and then A to find your IP address or you can use the host name right here SSH thanked Nix. I don't know how to pronounce this. Anyway, it's a great operating system. I might not pronounce it yet, but we're going to work with it. So I'm going to SSH into my Pine Phone and then I'm going to show you the rest of the process so we can get Black Arch on the Pine Phone. Okay, here we are at our terminal for the Pine Phone. This is my laptop. I have just used SSH to log into my Pine Phone. You can also type the following commands out directly on your Pine Phone if you wish, but for the video, I thought it would be easier for you guys to see this. So as you can see, I am on Arch Linux right now. And we're going to start the process. I will paste all of this into the video description. So the first thing we're going to do is that. And once we finish this, we're going to go ahead and verify the checksum. I'm going to go ahead and copy that part. I'm not typing that out. Looks like everything is good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run it as root. So we're going to make it executable, chmod plus x, strap.sh. Then what we're going to do is we're going to run it, and that should begin the process. Installing the key ring now. And what this is going to do is provide us with a plethora of penetration testing tools and like I said, everything that I'm doing here, I will have in the description for you guys so you can easily cut and paste the commands yourself. So everything from start to finish should be a cut and paste job for you. Now that we're finished setting up Black Arch, we can now install just the tools we're interested in by category as you can see on the screen here or we can install the entire Black Arch selection, which may take up to 27 additional gigabytes. Instead of taking my chances with a 32 gigabyte SD card, I think I'm going to select just the radio category for now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the default here. And now I'm going to select Y to proceed with the installation. The radio category could make things interesting for my RTL SDR card. Judging by my last video 
on setting up the RTL SDR on the Pine phone. So I thought it would make for possible interesting future videos. And keep in mind that certain packages will have dependencies and you may not have access to everything unless you take care of those dependencies first. We're just doing an experiment here today. Looks like everything was installed successfully here. And if we want to take a look at the categories available, we can run the command you see here at the bottom of my screen. I will leave that in the description for you guys so you can take a look at all the different categories. And it looks like everything went flawlessly for the installation of all the, ra the radio tools. So this is going to be very interesting for my software-defined radio videos that will be coming up in the near future. Let's take another look at the categories one more time. So if you're using Danktnix and Arch, you may find Black Arch something you may want to try out. It's got a ton of tools, as you can see here, from fuzzers to scanners to proxies to disassemblers and crackers and voice over IP to exploitation, recon, spoofing, forensics, crypto backdoors, binary networking, miscellaneous, defensive, wireless, automation, sniffer, reverse, engineering, mobile, malware, code audit, social, honeypot, hardware, fingerprint, config, too many things to mention. So I think this is going to do it for today. I just wanted to show you the installation process and as mentioned I will write it up in my blog and also place some of the commands in the description for your convenience so you can cut and paste and do the same to your own Pine phone. Now let's take a look at some of those tools on the Pine phone. Now that we've finished installing Black Arch, its repositories and given ourselves a nice selection of pen testing tools, let's take a look real fast at some of the installed commands. So it looks like we have AirSpy and a variety of other tools here. We can then go back and install other categories of tools or just search and install tools individually. So I'm going to run one real quick just as a quick demo. So as you can see AirSpy does run and all the other ones that are installed should run. Now some of the graphical programs of course won't be able to display but you know command line is where the fun is at. So that's what I got today guys. That's my video on installing Black Arch on your Pine phone using Danktnix. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a like. Subscribe with the bell icon and share this video, and I will be back with more on the Pine Phone.